Gary Nisbet has been working at Dow Furniture for seven years. Randy Jubert started here two months ago. They've worked together often, making deliveries. And people are saying we look like brothers, and, and we go on deliveries together for the last month and a half, and uh, we keep getting it. They always laughed it off. Randy was put up for adoption when he was a baby, but he was recently able to find the name of his birth parents and was told there had also been a younger brother, born in 1974, also put up for adoption. Randy only knew a birthday and a first name. What's that over here? And a few weeks ago, on a delivery in this truck... Something clicked with me. I said, I'm going to go out this door and ask him a strange question. So I uh, got him up by the truck and, and said, Gary, it's going to sound bizarre, but were you adopted? And he kind of stares at me and, yep. I said, what's your birthday? June 10th, 1974. And I knew that I'm searching for this guy. I'm like, I know that birthday. I said, do you have your original uh, birth certificate? Do you know your parents' names? He said, yep. And I said, is it uh, Wilfred and Joan Pomeroy? Just stares at me. How do you know my parents' names? <laughs> and uh, I said, those are my birth parents' names. So I've been riding around with this guy for a month and a half, and he's my full-blooded brother. What was that moment like? Phenomenal. The brothers say they were both in a state of shock. This is such a small world. It only happens once in a lifetime. And it happens in Walderboro. <laughs> Nothing good ever happens in Walderboro. <laughs> so think of the odds. They had both been adopted by families in the same county, gone to rival high schools, and even lived in this same town the past few years and never knew. And for almost two weeks, they didn't tell anybody they were brothers. Nobody here at the furniture store knew. That changed yesterday. The brothers finally told owners, Lisa and Dana Dow. And he said, I would have never found him if you didn't hire me to work here. And I started crying. They called a meeting and told everybody else. And he said, Gary's my brother. And I just started crying, you know. I was shocked. I was, I was surprised. I cried. <laughs> I was so happy for them because they're two wonderful guys. It was a morale booster yesterday, and we didn't do a thing. We really didn't. <laughs> Actually, they all had a big party, and they're still shedding tears a day later. This is a family business, and now two of their own have discovered they're a family, too. Does the world feel a little different knowing you have a brother? Yes. It does for me, definitely. It really does. Something good has happened in Waldeboro.